Hello, this is David from Excel Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with if functions in Excel. So an if function can basically give you an output based on whether something happens in a cell. So for example here, I've said that if something says the word sent, then I want to know what the total cost is. If it's blank, then it should say zero. And this should be dynamic, so if the word sent gets put in, this number changes that. So this can then find out how much uh, is total on sent, and each one one by one as well. So how do we do this? Um, let's do it here. So unpaid. Again. So let's say that I want to say equals if. Now I have three inputs, the logical test. And then what happens if it's true and what happens if it's false? The logical test here will be this word, this cell, is equal to sent like that, comma, value if true. I'm going to have this, otherwise I'm going to have zero. So if the word says sent, then it's going to give me total cost, and otherwise it's going to give me zero. Um, whenever you have text in Excel, in a formula, you need to put speech marks before and after, like that. Press enter, 2800. Then I could drag it down like that, or undo. I could also just move my mouse to the black cross, double click, and it goes all the way till the end. Neat trick there, really, really speeds you up. As you can see, it's the same here. So it's, if it says Nothing, it's zero, otherwise it says the number. Um, so let's do a slightly more complicated one. Let's say that if this is blank, then it needs to say the words not sent. If this is over 3,000, it needs to say high. If this is o under 3,000, it needs to say low. So I'm going to say equals if this equals... And in this case, I'm going to start with what happens if it says nothing. So to say nothing in Excel, it's basically text, so text is speech marks, but there's nothing in the text, so you just put speech marks and then speech marks again. Um, comma, if it's true, so if, if it is blank, then I want it to say not sent, like that. Remember, text is again speech marks, even if that's an output. Otherwise, and then value of false gets a bit more complicated because here there are two options. So I'm going to replace this with another if function, this one. And now I'm going to say, well, the other option is sent. So the other option, what's going to happen? So this is greater than 3,000. And you'll notice that um, in your logical test is basically made up of three bits. A cell reference, and then a, com uh, a comparison, and then a value. That value could be in another cell as well, but um, in this case, I've just hard-coded 3,000 in there. The, the comparison value is almost always equals, but if you're dealing with numbers, it could be greater than, it could be less than, or then this is not equal to, this is greater than or equal to, and this is less than or equal to that one. Let's go greater than or equal to 3,000. Comma. Value of false, speech marks because it's text, I'm going to say... Hi, comma, value of false, low, like that. Then I close my brackets one time for the second if statement, another time for the first one. Notice how Excel color codes them. So the first one is red and goes a bit bold for a second if I select it, and the second one is black. This keeps going, so future. Um, brackets will be different colors as well. So you can match which one opens and closes. So yeah, this is a, a nested if where you have more than one if. Um, in this case, I have two, but you could easily have a lot more than that. 
what's low, low, high. You can see how that's showing you there. Not many highs. Yeah, a few of them there. Perfect. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching.